In this little video, I'm going to show you how to add some slides and also look at how you can add different types of content. Hopefully, everybody's been able to open up Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. Uh, the assignment that you will have to complete will be in regards to your research paper. You will need 10 to 15 slides. No less than 10, no more than 15. Once again, in this video, I will show you how to add slides. Initially, when you create a new presentation, you're going to come up with one slide, and basically, this is your t is your opening slide, which is your title and your subtitle as well. Okay, you can add text to both of these. Okay, at this point, I'm going to show you how to add a couple of new slides. All you have to do basically is go to where it says New Slide, click down on that, the down arrow, and you're going to get these get these various type of slides available to you. Okay. The most common one that you'll use will be title and content. You can also do two content, you can do a comparison, a title only, even blank. And to all of these you can actually add more stuff to it and we'll go in, into it in later detail on the videos. So right now basically we're just going to deal with title and content. Okay, so I'm going to click on title and content and notice I have my second slide here. Let's go ahead and add another one. We're going to add like three or four just to show how it's done. There you go, you add it again, once again, another title of content, and we're going to leave it here where, where it is, okay? Let's go back to the first and just add a slide, okay? And you saw what I do here, you can choose from your different slides strictly by going over them and left clicking on them. And of course, this video, you will be able to do it over and over. And I'm just going to put this as my new project. And I'm not going to put anything else for the subtitle. At this point, if you don't want a subtitle, all you have to do is, is just highlight it and hit the delete key and it's gone. You notice how it's also mirrored over here on the left. This is my project. You get a nice tool tip that also shows what you have written there. And this is my project. To get to the next slide, you can click here or you can also use your mouse wheel and it'll take you back and forth through the different slides. You also have the slider bar available to you, okay? And all this is being done from the Home tab at this point. Now going back to slide 2, I can add a title. And I'm just going to put Title 1. And some of the interesting things are here is if you highlight your text, you're going to get a nice little menu that's going to come up. Okay? A nice little sub-menu that pops up automatically so you can change the size if you so choose. It's just like Microsoft Word. You can underline, you can fill, you can do all sorts of things. You can center it left, center it right, center it to the right, uh, also go to the go to the left and the right as well. So you can align it different ways. That's up to you. As far as the title, we will probably have it centered. Of course, it will be much bigger than I reduced it to. Okay. On this next slide here, you can do a variety of things. In this case, I'm just going to show you how to add a little bit of text on this slide. So I'm adding new text, and notice what happens as I hit enter. Get a nice new bullet available to you. Okay, and more text again. Once again, you can highlight your text. You get the nice little sub-menu. Okay, you can change your colors. Well, that's the background color, actually. You can change the colors of your background. You can change the color of your text as well. That is strictly up to you what you want to do. See how I change the color of my text? Okay. Hit enter again, you'll get a new bullet, and the bullet is now blue. So you have to be careful when you're doing this, okay? I'm going to go to another slide, and I'm actually using my mouse wheel. I'm up to slide three here. Title, uh, no more titles. And I'm having trouble typing here. Okay. Instead of adding text, I'm actually going to add a picture here. And you have various options here. You can uh, insert a table. You can insert a chart, some art. You can actually insert a media clip if you have a media clip. You can also clip art and a picture. I'm going to insert a picture from file, a sample picture. I'm going to choose autumn leaves. Click there. Click on insert. And I now have autumn leaves. Just like in Word Art, you can do all sorts of things. You can do effects. And you actually have a contextual menu that pops up and lets you do these different effects to the picture that you have on there. Just like in Word, you can go backwards and undo what you just did as well. Okay, So this is how you actually add slides, and I showed you how to add a few things to it. That's basically what you need to do. I'm going to go over a few of these other 
of these other tabs and another video. In fact, I'll go over insert design animation slideshow review and view later on. But for right now, this is how you add slides to your PowerPoint presentation. And to save, of course, this is my new project. I'm gonna look for my memory key. In this case, I actually have I actually have a um, a simple drive here. Click on there and then save. And your project is saved, and it tells me I don't have permission for this location for whatever reason, so I'm going to save it somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to save it to my doc under Hector for right now. Okay, so it's been saved at this point. Okay, uh, look forward to the other videos. Remember, you can replay this over and over again until you get it right.